Hello and welcome. I originally posted this video in 2021 when I was building this CNC router, which I've actually named the Maxi CNC router. All the drawings and parts list are available for all patrons on my patron pages. So I've had a lot of requests for a little bit of explanation of what's going on here because the original video was uh, just had music on it and um, I, I just took all the major parts uh, of video from I think it's 14 different uh, videos so there is 14 videos in a playlist on my channel which describes and shows you every single part how it's made and uh, how you can make every part with uh, just uh, ordinary shop tools so in this case with this CNC rotor I did actually buy a gantry extrusion uh, because I priced up uh, you know sort of constructing it myself and it was actually cheaper to uh, buy the extruded uh, piece of aluminium which all turned out fine um, and I've designed it uh, in a very robust way and a simple way so the bottom section is all uh, tubular steel uh, as you saw in the beginning there and uh, it's all welded up you know sort of precisely square and uh, now I'm sort of building the the gantry um, I'm, I'm just putting these rails in here now because it's difficult to put them in afterwards and uh, as you saw just now I drilled all the uh, the holes and I've made the side plates here or the support plates and um, I actually haven't solidly mounted the the um, y-axis rails yet it, they just sat on there at the moment because I wanted to build the I wanted to build the gantry onto the rails and then use you know the whole gantry system to be able to use it, it as a jig as it were and uh, so I, I don't think I I don't think I filmed actually uh, drilling the um, the y-axis. I, I may have. It may come up in a minute or two. But uh, this is the uh, upright plate actually, which is for the um, x x z axes. So this is the plate that runs along the uh, x rails along the gantry. And uh, as you can see here, you know, this you don't need a CNC machine to make a CNC machine. I'm using all hand tools, you know, just a simple uh, drill press there with a, a simple drill, as it were, as well. And just marked out, center popped, and drilled and tapped. And of course, in the, in the videos, um, I go into great detail of how actually to put this together and you know so this is really just a combination of all those videos and uh, just like I suppose a little bit of an advertisement that well this is how you build one it's really not rocket science and um, you know anybody really any carpenter you know can build one you, you know you don't have to be an engineer um, you know if you're designing one well yes it does help to be an engineer but <laughs> um, I've designed it in such a way that uh, it can be simply made uh, and indeed uh, you know I have had uh, you know many patrons uh, contact me uh, telling me that they have actually constructed uh, one of these. I do have two uh, large-ish 
uh, CNC rotor builds and uh, a smaller one too, um, like a 4040. That's a very small one. Uh, you could call that a bench top one, but uh, this is the biggest one here. This is what I have dubbed the Maxi. Um, and there's also the Amax as well, which I've recently finished actually. Like I say, this was built uh, just over two years ago now. And uh, I actually had a patron um, inquire whether he could buy it before I'd even finished it. Um, so I said, why not? So I, I um, exchanged it and um, I built another one. So I'm using that uh, aluminium rail there just to, um, I, I put it there, clamped it there and uh, I used it so I could get the, uh, the screw up and pack it up and get it absolutely square or running square with the um, with the y axis there that, I, that I'm just drilling the bracketry there for now and uh, yes everything was uh, all nice and square you know you got to be within um, well a few thou I suppose of squareness then we'll say to be able you know to for the for the rotor to actually run nice and smoothly you know you don't want to you don't want it binding up uh when it's running because uh, you know that you could start having some problems oh this is one of the only parts that i um made with my cnc mill that i converted and all the drawings and parts list is available on my patron pages for this as well. This is a little uh, X2, a SIG X2. Um, in America, I think they're, um, I think it's Grizzly or Harbor Freight, or both of those names they're sold under. Uh, but it's still X2. But the original company that made it is uh, SIG in China. And uh, it's not bad equipment actually and they they do do they do sort of um, they make a good start for a, a conversion for CNC so there we are. I think uh, these motors on here are uh, NEMA 24s high torque I think they're, they're four uh, four newton meters um, I'm not sure I can't really remember how many ounce inches they are, but uh, it's quite a bit. You wouldn't stall it with your hands, put it that way. Um, just simple bracketry, so long as it just holds, you know, the stepper motors there, nice and square. Uh, there is no load on the stepper motor as such, other than torque, uh, because that bearing that you see on the end of the screw. Um, that's a, a double bearing in there and it's all preloaded so there's no sideways transmission then or forward and back in that case and uh, that's where I prefer to use uh, preloaded bearings and just a simple attachment method for the X drive up on top there it's just some uh, long I think they're eight mil no they're not eight mil they're six mil yeah some long six mil uh, bolts and and some nuts so it's fully adjustable like I could adjust that plate you know out or in and um, get it exactly what I required rather than you know sort of making uh, more sort of bracketry uh, I've used that method before and uh, it works quite well. Uh, the, uh, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm putting a shelf on the back uh, or plate then for the um, the cable chain to run along as I'm <laughs> just about to put it on now. Uh, there again simple bracketry 
you know, nothing complex at all. You know, it's all sort of fun functional. And, um, you know, it probably could have looked prettier in different places. But, uh, you know, I, I build things sort of fairly strong. Overly strong, actually. And um, functional. You know, um, and there it is, the finished thing. The only thing I didn't show in this particular video, but I did make three individual videos, and that was on the wiring and how even to uh, set up the VFD, how to program the VFD. Uh, I did a full video on that and a full video on the wiring and some explanation of uh, how the electrical box is connected up. Uh, that um, aluminium checker plate box down there that you see, I built all the electronics inside that. And uh, this is its maiden run. Um, what I normally do is to, you know, to make sure everything is working all right and, you know, none of these stepper motors are getting warm and, it, you know, they're not binding anywhere. It's all running smoothly. Uh, that is a, I think I'm doing uh, a meter circle. It might even be 1200. I'm not really sure now. Yeah, I think it was just a circle of 1200, something like that. And um, I just let it run like that for four, five, six hours. Um, you know, a con considerable time really you know consider it's a brand new machine at this stage um, I wanted to know um, especially as one of my patrons was one of my patrons rather was uh, was purchasing it I wanted it to be exactly right so there it is and of course in this um, design it's got dual Y axis motors and they're uh, they're connected up together uh, but they do have their own separate drivers so I hope you enjoy this little video today and I hope you go and have a look at some of my other videos so it's bye for now